Hey, the big news, Lindsay Lohan's going to jail, and she's hurting, and I think we should all... Is she hurting? ...take this very, very seriously. Is she hurting? It's fucking broad. Fucking broad. She... Everyone's fascinated with it. I don't know. Are people fascinated by it? I, think I don't think so, man. I think they're too fascinated by it. Really? Yeah. Like who? I don't know. The news is picking up on it. It's on all uh, all the uh, websites, uh, like the uh, I, gossip websites. I, I saw something yesterday. I, I thought I would I would never see on MSNBC on one of the big you know big cable news outlets. Yeah. MSNBC, CNN, and Fox, and I watch all three. I really do. But some dude was filling in for uh, I think it was Keith Oberman because I, I watch Keith Oberman almost every night to be mad, and not because <laughs> not because I don't agree with what he's saying. I probably would agree with. What he's saying more than, let's say, a Sean Hannity. Probably. Not yeah. that I care that much. But I like watching him because he's such a douchebag. He annoys you. Do you do that? Do you watch yeah, people because yeah, yeah. they're douchebags? I've absolutely watched uh, shows because the person annoys me. And I don't know why. Just sit there and go, ugh. Yeah, exactly. So uh, some guy was filling in, and he goes, up next, uh, uh, how did he say it? Fuck, I wish I had the clip. But basically he said... I'm doing this for you people because I don't care. More or less, that's oh, what he said. I gotcha, yeah. Because he had to do a whole Lindsay Lohan thing because that's a big news story. But yeah. for the first time, I saw like a, a news guy actually go, you know what? I don't give a crap about this stupid broad, but I have to do this for you. You think they're the doing people. that? You think they're really doing that? Do they realize, look, people kind of want to hear what's going on with her. They're gossipy. Bunch of gossip girdies. And uh, he's just, like, saying that to try to keep a bit of his credibility. I, I kind of believed him. Because I think I, I think I actually heard um, somebody do that on Fox News also. As well. Who was it? O'Reilly. O'Reilly actually said did it. Because he had gotten, uh, you know, he reads the emails and shit. Yeah. And somebody had said, I don't care about Lindsay Lohan. Uh, what kind of show do you have? I didn't think you were running, uh, like, a gossip show. Mm -hmm. And he kind of made the statement, like, well, uh, you know, it's in the news, and I had to report mm -hmm. it. But right. Yeah, but, but obviously, well, eh, had to report it's a show. Di different from this guy looking at looking right into the camera and said, saying, "I don't care about this." Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, doing it tough. for you. As he's looking, and I'm I'm looking around. Is he doing it for me? Because he's for looking me? right at me. For, I think for the, me. I think the TV's talking to me. This yeah. is a little weird. <laughs> but now uh, the Lindsay Lohan thing. She had to do 90 days. Then it was knocked down to 23 days. Do you know why it was knocked down to 23 days? Because she's famous. Was it a famous thing, uh, or or because she's a scared, she's a scared of the bull dykes in the jail, <laughs> or or nothing means what it means. Yeah, ninety days actually means you got to you got to get some kind of like uh, translation. Ninety days actually means twenty four days. Then why don't you just say twenty four, twenty three days? Yeah, I don't get that either. Because ninety days is actually twenty three days. We're learning, and now we're learning that it's two weeks. Two weeks. So all of a sudden, her ninety days in jail. Three months is down to two lousy fucking weeks, and she won't even serve that be because of overcrowding in the uh, in the jail system in California. That's yeah. that's why they're calling it. They're you know they don't need her in there, so they're she, she's doing two weeks. You think if she was just some sister that got tased coming out of her car, <laughs> that this would even be an issue, or she'd be in jail already? Oh, uh, of just course, serving serving the entire time. Yeah, th <laughs> every single day of the ninety. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, good news, uh, Anthony. She's doing very well in uh, jail. Her first night was um, spent uh, very comfortably. Oh, that's good. She's in a fucking room for two weeks. It says she'll can, serve can you... less than 12 days. Oh, now it's less than 12 yeah, that's, days? Look, look. Now it's down it's to less than 12 down. days? Is it less than 12 days? 11 days or less. Yeah, now, like, we're, like, now, now we could call it. It's about 11 days. <laughs> her 90 days. Look, it's all over the fucking news. Yeah. yeah she's going to be in her, everywhere. She's going to be in a room for 11 days. Who cares? Yeah, she's not going to be getting raped with a fucking broom handle. Our angle is who gives a shit. Uh, and then she yeah, that, she uh, does. And, and then she gets out of jail, and they're saying she'll make at least a million dollars off this experience. How is that? Like a book or something? Yeah, what, I, I'm not really sure. Cause Just, I, yeah, how do you I kind of I, I kind of scan all these fucking articles, you know, <laughs> for you people. <laughs> for, just for you people. But she's going to make about a million dollars. She looks all right in that mugshot. She's got her, um, her prison garb on, her little orange jumpsuit, mm -hmm. and it's um, almost... It's almost a, a low-cut neckline thing mm -hmm. happening there. She's got her blonde hair. Oh, she's, uh, she's got eye makeup on. What the fuck is going on?
What's going on in jail? Well, this is this is important. If you're going to get a mug shot, you got to do it uh, the right way. You got to look good. Yeah, I'm sure her PR people set it up all nice. Make sure you have makeup on. Make sure you do this look. Blah blah blah. Looks like a photo shoot. That whole got like a background and lighting. Yeah, <laughs> the whole family's dysfunctional. It came out yesterday. The mom yeah. will only go on TV to talk about her own daughter for fifty thousand dollars. That's her price tag. If you oh. want me talking about my own daughter on TV, 50000 And then the father's running around trying to get on as many fucking TV shows as possible. Is it, um, is it one of those deals where it's really obviously the parent's fault that she's so fucked up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that oh, what yeah. it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never yeah. spent a day with any of these people, obviously. Yeah. We, we met Lindsay Lohan once. And yeah. She was, that was just before the... Uh, Whatever she started doing. It was almost like during it. I think we had heard uh, stories about... Rumblings, as they yeah, like to yeah. say. Rumblings about cocaine and drinking and stuff. And she came into uh, the studio when we were over at the other building. And uh, she was very aloof. Very aloof. Because we all wanted pictures with her. I didn't. No? And I'm proud are to you say being, that. Are you being like the news guy? I no, did I, it for you. <laughs> I, I, I like getting pictures with people. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying I don't, but for some reason I just didn't want a picture with her. Yeah, I, yeah. Is that the dreamy one with Iraq? Yeah. Is that the dreamy picture with Iraq? No, that that's up? that's Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton was you and your dreamy picture. Oh, with Iraq's uh, bedroom eyes. <laughs> <His> bedroom eyes. <laughs> He's holding it like, yeah, this is my chick. Iraq, you got to tweet that today so everyone can <laughs> yeah, see your please. bedroom eyes. Okay. Iraq's bedroom eyes. His heavy eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's holding it like like they're on a date. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Erog. Is your Paris Hilton photo? Oh! oh! Hey, oh! Actually, I didn't get one. I would have got a picture yeah. with Paris Hilton. I'm not saying I. I, I would have too. But that day, I just didn't. I, I. I didn't care. Yeah. About her. Now I wish I had it. I'm. You know. I did. Like I wanted a picture with her and stuff, but she was really like kind of snotty. It wasn't. You know, you know how some some people come in and they're kind of like, oh yeah, come on, take a picture. It's okay. But mm -hmm. she was just kind of standing there like, oh. I want more Coke. <laughs> Just stop. Snap the picture quick. Remember, we also had to give up our office for her. Yes. Because she had to have a, a place to sit before she did that interview with 20 on 20. Yeah, yeah. So our, we had to give up our office. And then we all ran in and started smelling the seats. <laughs> a bunch of fucking pigs. I think Jimmy has some photos of that. <laughs> of him yeah. smelling the seat. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. We all ran in after she left. All right, let's sniff the seats. Um, nah, she's just a twat. I mean, my experience with her... My uh, my wife was walking through Central Park with one of our, I guess technically like a niece. It's like my sister's niece, but you know how that all works, right? So sure. And this girl couldn't have been more than eleven at the time. She was in the in the Lindsay Lohan wheelhouse as far as a fan goes. She was a tween at the time. A tween. And they're walking through Central Park, just doing something else, and all of a sudden, there's Lindsay Lohan on a park bench doing nothing. Just sitting there alone? Sitting there alone. Uh, Pondering? I, feeding I, the pigeons? <laughs> I, she was doing that movie about Mark David Chapman oh, right, at yeah. the Dakota, so she was in the park just kind of going over. She wasn't even going over lines. Cause she, well, she, maybe she was going over lines. Um, and, and my wife and... and the little niece there, you know, walk up and go, can we get a picture? There was no, dude, there was nobody around. It was just one of those weird situations where they came upon Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. And there was nobody around. No, no paparazzi, no other fans, no other people really in the park noticed. And she fucking said no. And then the, no. and then the bodyguard had to get involved Ugh. to kind of push them out of the way. She wouldn't take a picture with a tween. One lousy fucking picture. Should just slid That's on the, the bench and snap the picture yeah. and get up. That's the life you chose, well, or your parents chose, yeah. right? Yeah, she was kind of thrust into it. You take it. the one lousy fucking picture. Who gives a shit? She's got to go to rehab after this uh, little stint, right? For 90 days. Yeah. I'm thinking that uh, she needs to get out of jail immediately because of... Uh, Huh? Maybe some withdrawals that are going to oh, happen in the next oh. few days. I think she's going to be laying all sweaty in her fucking cot, <laughs> yeah. just uh, moaning and fucking getting the DTs. How hot oh, is that? Oh, that's too hot. How hot is all that? sweaty. <laughs> There's sheets twisted around her legs, all sweaty. Mm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> and she can only take a shower every other day. But oh, she's only going to be in there 11 nice. days, right? That her right there? Yeah.
Yeah, she takes a fucking ridiculously good picture. Yeah. She's got a real nice set. She does have some cans on her. <laughs> some cans. She's, that was her Marilyn Monroe kind of pictorial she did. Mm -hmm. She looks a little um, beyond her years. <laughs> like, she's, she's getting a little weathered. I guess she's only 23 or 24. Yeah. That's, you're absolutely right. Yeah, she's... Um, She's really being ridden hard and put up wet these days. Uh, maybe she'll figure picture. it out. If not, oh well. The duck lip thing is just so obvious and so bad. When will chicks realize that's not a good fucking look? If you don't have the big fucking lips, oh well. Mm -hmm. They haven't figured out how to fucking puff up your lips and, and not look ridiculous. I think the problem is... You could do it one time, get a little little plumpness going. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing. I don't but even they think just they keep do going after time. that. It's just this dumb fucking duck look, and it looks horrid. I completely agree with you. And it's it's really obvious. It's not sexy looking. You just look stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm doing I, it for I Anthony. Mean, I wish it was TV. Uh, oh, he's doing the. Uh, and that's uh, them just not doing anything with their face. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> Uh, try it at home. <laughs> Do your try it at home. Do your duck lips. Put your lip, just put your uh, lips out. Man. Uh, my lips look juicy and voluptuous. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you were punched. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, there's a duck face fucking website. Is there really? Well, there's a couple things. Uh, girls oh, have the girls making the, the yeah, lips. Girls have learned to push out their lips when they take pictures. <laughs> this is a great sight. Mm. It's just chicks and dumb assholes puffing their lips out. You know what? It's funny that we're on this mm. website because I was so gay. I was discussing with my girl. When I say my girl, my wife, but I wife just sounds yeah. I don't, I don't like. I I never liked the word wife, <laughs> but uh, I told her I never really liked. The wow pictures we got over the years, for yeah. one reason, because the girls always had to make that Bleh! face. I call <laughs> it like a. Bleh! Whenever girls flash their tits, they gotta go like, Ugh! like make some weird fucking face, like like some guy really getting into playing guitar. Yeah, <laughs> you want to see him topless, but you you don't want you want to see like some kind of normal face. Yeah, maybe a look of like you like these, but it's always like ah, I'm partying. <laughs> Tongues out, lips are fucking pursed. A lot of times puckered. over the years, we've seen the the wow shots with like the cigarette hanging out of their mouth because oh, yeah. they had to like, you know, they needed both their hands to lift up their shirt. And the smoke is going into one eye, so it's shut. So it's shut like Popeye. <laughs> I go, you know what? I never really dug a lot of the fucking shots we got over the years. Kevin from Connecticut calls it Jimmy Page face. Jimmy Page face, yeah, very it's good. It's like when you're fucking yeah. Carlos Santana face. You will make this like er, like like a guy in, uh, engrossed in a heavy fucking lead. Danny, you got a website that shows that off? I I bet you. It's guitar face or O face? Oh, Is there's actually it? a guitar face or O face. So they just show the face, and it's it's either somebody coming or, or playing guitar, yeah, fucking or playing guitar. That's hysterical. No. <laughs> uh, is that that's guitar? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> we saw that at Mardi Gras a lot too. When the girls yeah. like, they can't just flash in a sexy way. It's always got to be some kind of weird like blah, party face yeah. or a woo! tongue has to stick out. <laughs> it's, a woo, it's a woo. It's a woo face. Woo, woo face. Woo. My oh face. Oh, Carlos Santana makes the worst faces. That's got to be porn, right? Yeah, <laughs> but they, they all look the same. That's a pretty good sight. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Shit. Guitar face or O face? Oh. That's, that's Courtney Love, of My course. O face. <laughs> Fucking a. So that's the big story that everybody will be covering today. Yes. Would you give a shit if she, like, um, I don't know, dropped dead? Uh, Not in a I'm feeling bad kind of way. But, uh, you know, it would be one of those, oh, well, there's another young Hollywood starlet. When will they learn? Gone. And then a news reporter. Yeah. When will they learn? And the, but the thing is, all these anchors and everybody that that have been goofing on her and being like, "Oh, here she is again, this dumb fucking whore sending her to jail." <laughs> if she did die, they'd be like, "And tragedy in Hollywood as another young star." Tragedy. As, uh, they would, you know, the news. Tragedy would be tragedy if Justin Bieber was in a in a. 
in a in a, a car crash. You're you're like, tying yourself up here. What is what? that a tragedy, really? Well, I, I know. Lol, it's, lol Justin. Bieber. No, I'm not a fan of Justin Bieber, but I guess the point I'm trying to make: someone that you didn't expect all of a sudden uh, didn't dies see it coming in some horrific way. That's a tragedy. But yeah. if Lindsay Lohan shows up dead somewhere, is that really a tragedy? Or, oh, okay, we all expected this to happen. One of those misguided youth kind of tragedies. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah, one of those. I you guess, know. I guess. Whenever those Hollywood starlets are found in a hotel room, fucking dead. She has the world by the balls. Figure it out. And and everyone on TV last night, she's a very talented actress. Oh, is that That's what they That's what's saying? so sad about this. She seems <clears throat> quite the, the cunt, to be honest. Really? She seems quite the cunt. Even when she was in that day, I was like, come on. Well... Like I said, my experience, or my my girl's experience, wasn't wasn't pretty. It was really awkward for everybody. It's like really, like no. Yeah, <laughs> you can't say no to a picture from a fan unless you're really really I busy know. or in the middle of something crazy. That's why I I rarely take pictures with people, and when I went to take a picture with her, I hate that feeling like I'm bothering her. Like, all right, fucking forget it. Nah, bothering is if there were a thousand people waiting for pictures and you're sitting there waiting for yeah. the picture. You like know what I mean? One picture and she's one picture fucking where, bothered. Where you know it's not going to lead to any other pictures. Twat. And Jane Seymour is a, a cunt. Yeah. I haven't forgotten. Jane Seymour. I will never. Blew you off. No, blew off my mom. Oh. And I don't have the greatest relationship with my mom, but. Really? Yeah, we were. Where the fuck were we? Fucking... I think we were going to see Phil Donahue. Oh, Jesus. I was a little nothing. We used to come in from Long Island to go to the TV taping. And Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, fucking well, flew you off. <laughs> somehow, like, I, uh, after the Phil Donahue, you know, you, you all go down together, the studio audience, and big, huge, you know, 80 people to an elevator. And somehow, yeah. I don't know, we were the, at the end of the line or something, and we got an elevator pretty much by ourselves. And then it stopped on another floor, and Jane Seymour walks in. And my oh. mom's like, I love Medicine Woman. She's whispering to me, like, that's, that's the medicine. <laughs> and, and I'm like, I'm a, I'm a nothing. So my mom, I go, I go ask her for a picture. I got, I got the camera, you know? Would you have your Kodak film I camera? God, I your forgot. Your Instamatic? Something. <laughs> so my mom taps her on the, on the arm. There's no one else in the elevator, really. Maybe a couple of her people. Goes, uh, I'm a big fan. Can I have a picture? And my mom, you know, isn't the type of person that's brave enough to do any of this. But I, I talked her into it. Yeah. And Jane Seymour turns around and goes, No, like rudely too. No. Wow. And now we have to awkwardly go down to the the fucking lobby. Oh. With, with this, with her and the people that saw. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> just and me and my mom are in shock. Like she, she, she said no. She said no. This is Fuck her life, Doctor Quinn. <laughs> this is your life. You chose this to be in the public eye. She said, "Fucking no, that cunt." You should get cancer. Day. You should only get cancer. That's right. <laughs> to this day, every time I see her, I, I yeah, you I get all mad. Seethe. Yes, I see. Uh, some people just don't deal with it well. I don't know what that is. Just fucking deal with it. It's, look, man. I mean, some people uh, obviously it, they can't even go out. Right. There's some people that cannot leave their house. But they chose that as well. It's an easy life. What we have is an easy life. We joke about the hours and this and that, but it's an easy life. Yeah. How hard is it to take a picture with somebody? Well, that's why. we. It's not like, like you got to figure somebody like Tom Cruise cannot fucking leave his house without constantly being barraged with requests for photos and, uh, right. and pictures. Well, but well, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman? Nah. Well, she was pretty big at the time. Was she big at the time? But, yeah. but we're in the elevator, isolated. Like, the elevator door is going to open up. No one's going to know she took a fucking picture with my mom in the yeah. elevator. Yeah, they should be. They should kind of take into consideration the, where where they are. That's what I'm what, saying about Lindsay Lohan happen. as well in yeah, the park. Yeah. No one was around. It wasn't going to It wasn't gonna create a fucking frenzy, a Lohan. Turned into a, a, a paparazzi right. frenzy. Yeah. I don't know. It is an odd thing. Yeah. I don't know what side I'm on as far as that goes. Really? Yeah. We've taken thousands and thousands and I, thousands of pictures. I can't. I know, but I can walk down the street without being bothered or anything. It's it's not like uh, it's just a constant barrage. Dude, I, I well, yeah, we have different lives because I walk around the city a lot. I get, I get recognized every day. Yeah. And I love it. I fucking love it. I'm not going <laughs> to sit here and say I hate it. I love it.
Yeah. Stop, say hi. We talk, you know, sometimes I talk for a couple minutes, whatever. Sometimes yeah. it's a, a, hey, can I get a picture? I love that shit. Always cordial. So what's the problem? You don't want to be the asshole guy. But what's the problem with that? You said you're on the fence. Well, if you get somebody like, uh, like a, a Tom Cruise, a big A-lister, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. uh, it's got to be constant. It's got to just be a constant. Like, if you can't walk three feet down a sidewalk without constantly being told, uh, uh, can I get a picture or can I, could you sign this, you wouldn't be able to get anywhere. <laughs> I got a solution. Yeah. Make a shitty movie. <laughs> is that the, is make, that how you get out of it? Yeah, make one shitty movie. You get a little more room out there. <laughs> <laughs> get a little breathing room. Right. Yeah, I, I made a breathing room movie. I want to go to a website. Maybe someone could help me. I want to I want to go to a website of people that used to be famous that probably even had the problem you're mentioning. Yeah. And now mm. I want to go to a website where you go, holy shit, remember that person? And they were probably completely Huge. bothered all the time. Right. And now. There's got to be one website that is dedicated to the holy shit, remember that person. So you can't even think of, I bet you can't even name one of those people. You, you know what I mean? You, you know, Someone that used to be so famous. famous. You know who was very famous? Now, now I, this is, I'm just throwing out a starter here. This is a starter. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards we could go, oh, that's a better one. But you know who was fucking huge at one point in his career and now is nowhere? Pauly Shore. Oh, Paul Paulie Shore. Shore was, but Jesus. he was. But remember the whole MTV thing, and he was in <laughs> fucking movie. I mean, he, Paulie Shore was a, a fucking huge name. <laughs> when you mention Paulie Shore, Shore, I know I'm evil. I know I'm fucking the devil. No, I'm not fucking the devil. I am the fucking devil. Yeah. Because uh, finish. And no, the, that, that was pretty much it. I, like I, I, I think Paulie Shore is one of those that was it's one of huge my huge a few years ago. It's one of my favorite moments doing radio with you. We oh god, was me that and awful? Aunt, yeah, me and Aunt, uh, this is new listener, so fuck it. Uh, we start out doing afternoon drive together. We we've, we've barely done radio together at this point, and uh, we go out to L.A. and we were absolutely we'll, we'll be the first to admit really green. And mm-hmm. trying to find it, find our way, we had potential, but no one gave a shit about us. Yeah. We didn't have an audience yet, and they fly us out to L.A. and we're 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 speaking to some big stars of the day. And Paulie Shore was one of those people. Yeah, and he was a, the biggest fucking prick to us. Just an asshole. <laughs> he was just a real big asshole. Not even in a good way, where he's like, "Oh, you guys are new," and just kind of going with it. He was a, a real fucking prick, like he was an A-lister, right? Yeah, and maybe he was sort of an A-lister at the time. You fast forward about. What, six, seven years where at NEW on top of our fucking game and Paulie Short comes in and he's no longer anywhere near an A-lister. Yeah. And he's bombing so bad on our show. And he actually looks at me like, hey, man, help me out here. Yeah, help me out. Because, I mean, a little secret, if we feel like it, we could help out people. That are kind of, yeah, teetering and bombing. Yeah, we could carry people if we, if we like them. You, you've probably heard it over the years. You know, someone's kind of having a rough appearance. There's a way of helping that person and carrying them yeah. to the finish line. He gives me the look like, hey, man, help me out over here. And I just looked at him and gave him a <laughs> smile like, this is payback, motherfucker. Hung out to dry, fuck. That's right. <laughs> and I don't think he's ever been on the show again. Yeah, No, he hasn't. Fuck him. Oh, God, great picture. <laughs> Oh, that's a picture from his heyday. God damn. Was that ever a look? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, the uh, the ripped jean shorts. Ripped jean shorts that look like fucking Tattered. Daisy Dukes he's wearing. Eight layers of different colored things he's wearing. and A headband. That was his head, buddy. That whole character. Ugh. Hey, this is a website, maybe. The Weasel. Oh, shut up. He was the Weasel. <laughs> But, it, but, it, but, but it, was, it was huge. You guys don't wheeze the juice? No, wheeze the juice. What the hell is that? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> wheeze the juice. Oh, you gotta wheeze the juice. Oh, uh, good. What a tool. I got a uh, website where uh, celebrities uh, used to be big. And Go to die? Um, is there a website? Yeah. yeah There's meat, a website for everything. Meatspin.com. Oh, Meatspin. Yeah, go to Meatspin.com. <laughs> oh, oh damn it. No, what damn happened? It. But it was supposed to be celebrities, <laughs> and it's just a cock spinning around and around. Damn it. Look, it's oh, counting man. the spins. <laughs> Do you realize that cock is somewhere spinning forever on the Internet? Yeah. Like, somewhere, 
It's it's never not on. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'll go with that. So for all the internet users in the world, there's one machine somewhere at any given time that meat spin is on. That meat spin is spinning on. That's pretty that cool. cock has just been spinning and who's spinning. The, who's the gayer guy in that fucking video? <laughs> I would say the guy taking it in the ass. <laughs> guy taking it in the ass is always the gayer of the two. The gayer of the two. I fucking is just he's just putting it in a hole. Yeah, all yeah. Right, good point. Yeah, <laughs> you good know. point. You can't fault him. Uh, where are they now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> where are they now? Dot com, possibly? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, is there a, uh, whatever happened to? W E H T dot net? If it's a dot net, um, it's gonna, it's gonna get closed down in a second. <laughs> Those dot nets don't quite have the juice. No. The dot never. coms do. Few people get on the dot net and it's over. Ever, ever wonder. What happened to Eddie the Eagle, the chick who shot Andy Warhol, that Mikey kid? Uh, I don't really get Gary, uh, Gary Coleman. We all know where he is. Yeah, I want Noriega, Dixie Carter. Well, these are dead people. Yeah, oh, this site sucks. This site blows. Yeah, I don't like hey, that site. thanks for the site, asshole. It blew. Now people are doing their Pauly Shore impressions on instant feedback. He's a weak. Someone's saying, let's see, let, let me read some names here. Uh, uh, Renee Zellweger. She's, now, still, she's around. still there. She's still there. Yeah, Renee's still around. Is that the Billy Zab? Is that the blonde kid from Karate Kid? <laughs> He's like, he was huge. Ralph Macchio. Let's see Ralph Macchio. He, he couldn't walk down the street during the Karate Kid days. Well, he made a comeback on um, Funny or Die recently. Yeah, but not to the point where... He made fun of himself because of the whole Karate Kid movie. I think Ralph Macchio can walk down the street with nary a problem. That's true. But I, I think uh, during the Karate Kid days, he couldn't move. He couldn't get... He can't get arrested now? How does that go again? <laughs> he Fuck, can't get arrested. Yeah, Ralph Macchio, was, uh, he was a biggie. Yeah. Uh, another one, C. Thomas Howell. What? Remember him? C. Thomas C. Howell. C. Thomas Howell. Who the fuck is he? He was huge back in, like, the Red Dawn day. He was in Red Dawn. He was in... That what? guy is C. Thomas Howell? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was in... I loved that movie. Love that movie. What, what the fuck is it called again? Because I had a... Where he was the black guy. He, I had a huge crush on Ray on, Dawn oh. Chong. Whew. Wow, you scared said, me for Ray a second. I Ray Dawn Chong. <laughs> C. Thomas Howell. What movie was that? I gotta look it up. I forgot I the name of the movie. That was either. Soul Man. Soul, Soul Man. <laughs> Soul Man. I think I liked Soul Man and at he, one point. He was. Uh, he wanted a scholarship. Yeah. So, but he, they were giving him out to black people. So he, he made like he was a black guy. Yeah. Make that movie now. <laughs> that ain't happening. Blackface. He did the whole movie in blackface. Oh, that's a good one, Ant. See, Thomas Howell is, or I think any of the people from Rumblefish, or um, what was the other one? Oh, the um, the Outsiders. I got one, and he made a slight comeback, but uh, the ET kid. Ah, right. The 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 the, the boy. Yeah, but he he did. And then kinda... he was in uh, Legends of the Fall, I think, as one of the brothers or something. Yeah, he kind of made a comeback, but and then went away again. Henry Thomas. Henry Thomas was pretty fucking huge. I think as the ET kid. What was the last thing he did? Oh, Henry boy. Thomas. Take a little look see. That that like anybody well, he's knows. still doing shit, but did an episode of CSI. Oh, no, see, let... Bob Kelly does that. A little okay. without a trace. No offense, Bob Kelly, you're a good actor. Bob mm. Kelly coming in soon. What was the biggest thing he did? Yeah, what was the last really good thing he did? Gangs of New York. He was in Gangs of New York? Yeah, yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? I never saw that stupid Suicide movie. Suicide Kings. Oh. Suicide Kings was great. Yeah. Yeah, Legends of Fall, uh, Psycho uh, for the beginning. Gangs of New York was good. I know it was. I, I really, really got to see that movie. movie. It was just one of those movies. I, it fell through the cracks. I haven't seen it yet. That DiCaprio was great. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, Jackie in Jersey. Jackie. Hello, Opie. Good to see you again. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> I think Jackie's coming in soon. Yeah. I can come in today if you want. I don't care. Not oh, you. this is the other Jackie. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wait, this is the Jackie that we actually invited in. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Yeah, but the creepy thing is, when you pick up the phone, he says, Opie, good to see you again. Yeah. Sorry, Are I you following me? Ghoul. So I got another <laughs> person following me. Are you following me? No, I'm not following him. All right. What do you got? I'm confused about the whole Gene Seymour thing. Dr. Quinn didn't come on until the 90s. 
So what was she famous for? Like when you saw her when you were 11? Like why was she such a big deal? I swear to God, I thought I was a little kid. But then again, when I was in college, I still felt like Dr. I was a little Quinn kid. Dr. Quinn came on in the 90s? Yeah, it premiered in uh, 1993, it says. Didn't she do right. soap no, opera? No, 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 no. I, I, I definitely go on record and say that my mom got blown off by 93. Jane Seymour way before 93. Well, so was what a, was she doing before she was that? A, she was a Bond girl. Nah, she, my mom knew her from something. Okay. Uh... Medicine Woman came on in, in 93, are you sure, or did it go off the air in 93? No, it came on in 93, according to... Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, well, now uh, we got to figure this out. Let's say she was in soap operas, wasn't she, or something? Well, but my mom was, I guess... What the hell was she into? My mom did, like, soap operas, War and but... Remembrance, the TV miniseries. Well, Jackie, help us out, you fuck. You do the research. Yeah, yeah you cock sucker. Did was she have a Bond fan? She was a Bond <laughs> Was it... Uh, it had to be another series, Jackie. I don't know what she. I think she was just in movies and stuff. I don't think she was in another. I don't think she was a star of anything. God, no. Yeah, she did a lot of TV movies. Yeah, I'm telling you, it wasn't Medicine Woman then. She did. She was like the TV movie queen. Because I, I don't think Phil Donahue was still doing his thing in '93. Because she was in a miniseries called East of Eden. Was that popular back then? Yeah, the miniseries was a huge thing back in the day. That's true. That back in what we look, we call the day, uh, before you really had a lot I of mean, channels. I mean, I could, I. I uh, I might have been in college, maybe. Oh, now you're jacking the fucking Early age college up. years, though. Yeah. I did a solid five, so. But oh, that's a big difference in being 11, you know what I'm I saying? Just, did I say 11? He was a child prodigy. I said I was, was in a, college at 11. I think I drove everybody in, so I wasn't that young, <laughs> but I was young. Look at this fucking literal Jackie. Yeah, you're an asshole, what, what man. Fucking, you're you're dumb, doing math. This is a dumb little memory in the back of my head I didn't even think I was going to talk <laughs> about today. I don't know, I just imagine like a little Opie, you know, going to the uh, uh, city, going to watch Phil Donahue. We, uh, we were obsessed with the uh, the TV taping, our family. Really? You liked going to the TV tapings? Did a lot of Phil Donahue's, did some Sally. Sally you did Sally Jesse? Did Sally Jesse. Did Montel Williams, which is really Montel. weird because he lives in my building now. And I, oh, really? I fucking told him that I used to come in the city to watch his show. <laughs> <laughs> he was a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why he was a jerk because between like the jerk between the tapings, <laughs> yeah, he had one lousy. I, I'm I, I'm sure these people are so happy that one of their audience members became uh, pretty pretty popular in their own right. Because I mean, these stories would never see the light well, of, of day. Of course not. But I, I remember sitting in the audience for Montel Williams, and during the commercial breaks, there was one assistant that had to come out with a lint brush. And lint down Montel Williams like it, it would make a difference. Did if get was linty? A... No, <laughs> there might have been like one or two lousy, tiny little. I don't. I never saw lint. <laughs> but they had to come out and delint him. They had to delint him during every commercial break. I never forgot that. Now people are saying it's East of Eden might have been uh, uh, the Jane Seymour thing. So, what show did we go? Did we go to see a fucking show? Like the Daily Show or something? We saw Bill Maher. Bill Maher, right? Another asshole. And I, I. I, I I I hate to hate on him because I kind of like Bill Maher, but yeah. he was such a fucking prick to us too in L.A. He was a big forehead asshole. He was a real jerk. He was even more of a jerk than Paul Short. Yeah, jerk. But I kind of like some of the stuff he does. So that was wasn't that where there was like candy on the seat when you went to sit down? They, they were like handing out candy oh, to uh, ho we, hop everybody up. We done with Jackie? Uh, yeah. All right, thanks, Jackie. No problem. Okay. Good talking to you, man. Call us uh, more often. You're just fucking terrific. <laughs> um, Bill Maher, it was uh, it was chocolate because they wanted to fire up the audience. Yeah, yeah. They got to get that sugar rush. They wanted everyone to have a sugar rush when he came out. This artificial energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, I, I wanted to make good with Bill Maher because I've I've hated him for years, but then I saw that movie he did, Religious. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. I kind of liked it, and. Uh, and he wouldn't come in to promote the fucking movie. We, I think we got the director, right? Yeah. Someone came in to, to promote it. Yeah. I think but we couldn't get Bill Maher. I'm like, yeah, great. Let's get Bill on the show. You know, he's promoting this movie. It needs all the help it could get because it's yeah. not a big, huge Hollywood feature. He fucking blew us off. I'm like, oh, this is why I hate you. Jerk. You're a <laughs> jerk. You jerk. <laughs> one of the greatest words ever. Just jerk. jerk. No, one really, no one really uses that anymore. My guy's just a jerk. My favorite words are jerk. <laughs> I love queer. <laughs> You're queer. I love using the word queer. <laughs> <laughs>
the jerk store called. <laughs> a jerk could be maybe my favorite word. Jerk. You're just a jerk. So, so I said you said it like Noonan said it. Yeah. In uh, in Caddyshack. Yeah. Yeah. Beat it, jerk. jerk. Uh, Yasmin <laughs> Bleeth used to be really uh, famous. Ah, Yasmin Bleeth. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Andrew McCarthy. Wow, that he used wow. to be huge. Andrew McCarthy was giant. Uh, probably can. He's got some breathing room. Sure, he's definitely got breathing room. I, I think TMZ does a good feature. Where are they now? Yeah, or whatever they call it. They and then they show a picture of someone in their prime and then what I they're can't doing get now for those. They, I can't get enough of those. They did Barney Miller yesterday. Wow, and. Uh, Unrecognizable. If you saw Barney Miller on the street, you'd walk right by him. He's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just Why is up. Barney Miller an asshole? Is he a jerk? <laughs> couple, couple years. I grew up loving Barney Miller, right? Yeah. It was a pretty good show, man. And, uh, and by the way, I'm, I'm sorry to jump in again here, but Fish was. Uh, Abe Vigoda was fucking really old during Barney man, Miller days. Yes. Go By ahead. the way, his name isn't Barney Miller. Uh, Hal Linden. Hal, Hal Linden. Hal Linden. Yes. And he's a jerk. He's an asshole. Wait, he's what, what, what happened? Uh, a couple years ago, he was on the corner of 57th and 6th near the old studio. And I go, holy shit, it's you know, Barney, Miller. <laughs> Barney Miller. So I go over there and ask if I could get a photo. And he's just wearing this um, that, uh, that, that raincoat that they used to wear in the 70s, that beige with the plaid inside. And I the executive. I, yes, exactly. <laughs> and so I said, can I get a photo? And he goes, no. And then walked away. Wow. Sure it was him? It, positive it was him. <laughs> and why would he be such an asshole jerk? No idea. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Say it at home. It's fun. I, I love that people are jerks today. <laughs> and, and you got to slow down a, just slightly when yeah. you say jerk. <laughs> Guy's a jerk. <laughs> but uh, what it, I, I haven't seen a picture of him. He's uh, unrecognizable or the entire cast? No, Barney Miller, the main Barney yeah. Miller guy. What's his name again? Hal? Hal, Hal Linden. Linden. Hal Linden. And Danny, then it was, I Ron it was on Glass, TMZ yesterday. Jack Sue. Wojohowitz. Because what they do is. Wojohowitz. Now, Wojohowitz was giant. Was it, you think? Dude, when Barney Miller was on, Wojohowitz could not walk the streets. <laughs> he looked the, a little it, like. Um, Joe Piscopo at the time. Yeah, yeah. Kind of jacked up. Yeah, he was jacked. And then now Wojohowicz can fucking do whatever he wants, except work in, in Hollywood. <laughs> How about uh, Yahoo Serious? Oh. Yahoo Serious? <laughs> he was famous for about that's, 10 minutes. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. Uh, come on. Where's this Hal Linden picture? I thought it was on TMZ. Wojo Howitz. I got Jesus to, Anthony's Christ. Anthony's got to see this. All right, the mug shot. So I, I guess they put a lot of material up yesterday. Maybe yeah. it's further down. Come on, come on. Where, come where on, are where are they now? Come on. Yeah, Ice T. The, there you go. Oh, okay. okay, that's him. All right. Oh Jesus would, Christ! Would you recognize him on the street? No. He's got like a goatee. He's got the the wiry uh, eyebrows. Yeah, but that doesn't even resemble him. He's almost eighty. No, is I know. he really? It's, it's a seventy-nine year old. <laughs> seventy-nine year old. Holy shit! For I'm not 80. saying he, I'm not saying he looks bad, but I'm saying it's uh, he doesn't look like uh, how we remember him. How old is he in Barney Miller? Uh, well, if he's seventy-nine, Barney Miller was in the seventies, I guess, right? So, 40 years ago. Jesus Christ. Well, 1970s, 40 years ago. So, 30-something years ago. So, he wow. was already kind of a, an older gentleman. Middle-aged gentleman. My God, man. What's up with the eyebrow hairs that are are, are, are a little too long? Do when you have do, you few, when do, do you let it go? Do you have a few uncles like that? I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. will you just fucking trim that shit? I'm already trimming that shit. When do shit. you let it go? When do you just look and say, I see it? And I'm going to do nothing about it. You've got a four-inch eyebrow hair. We yeah. fucking just <laughs> trim it? It's distracting. It's really... Uh, it just bothers me. You can't talk to people and not be distracted by certain types of facial hair. You know hair. who has one of those? Uh, that fucking asshole who's not here today. <laughs> oh, Jimmy? Jimmy has one. And he goes, I know, it bothers my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm like, will you just trim it? <laughs> he does but it on Jimmy, purpose. Jimmy has one. 
one that on purpose. Next time you, you you get a picture with Jimmy, or whatever, look for his one lousy eyebrow hair that he refuses to trim. Does he leave? Like, does he trim his other eyebrow hairs and just leaves that one? I think it's just one that decided to just continue to grow, and he he decided to leave it. Leave it alone. And much different than older guys that have a lot of them popping out. Yeah. Jimmy has one. I like evenness. I like I, I take my I take my finger and I push up on my eyebrows mm -hmm. and then I take my my oh, little razor dude. and I just go bat bat. No, you got you got to and that keeps everything even. You got to get a girl for a couple weeks. No eyebrow trimmer. No eyebrow trimmer. No, I'm fine with it. It's a comb that just goes. That's frightening. Done. You're my, done. Does it frighten you the first time you're like, well, oh, it's going to take my entire eyebrow off? There's only two settings. The The one setting is a little rough. It, it makes you look almost like a burn victim. <laughs> the other one's okay, though. Burn victim setting? <laughs> yeah, burn victim setting and then normal setting. See, because I, I, it's not like I want to trim down uh, uh, the entire brow, but you just don't want the full, full, the no, flyaways, full. The eyebrow trimmer, you hear them getting caught, too. You hear, <laughs> it's a good feeling. <laughs> and then you're done. Like, and then your ears and your nose and fucking trimming everything. Just a mess. Trimming. But there are there's a time where people just say, fuck it. There's gotta be one definitive day where you just look and go, I see it, and I'm not gonna touch it. Anything better than an old guy that can't keep his suit uh, together? <laughs> <laughs> just slightly wrinkled and slightly not uh. pressed and and that's that's what you're talking about, where they're just like, you know what, I'm, just I'm giving letting myself up. go. Well, people shouldn't wear suits anyway. It's that tight neck thing, and just like that the skin is just hanging over the tight mm. shirt, buttoned-up shirt on the neck. True. True suits, that. Suits are for the young. Jerks. <laughs> jerks. Cut your eyebrows and don't wear a suit, you jerk. Wojo is Jerry's dad on Jay Moore show. What? I did not know that. What? Uh, Wojo Howitz was still working? Hal Linden is Betty White's love interest in Hot, Cle Hot in Cleveland. No I did way. not know that. So he's still working? Hold on a minute. Boy, we know nothing. Uh, Jeff, in, <laughs> Jeff in Colorado. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, any episodes. I just saw a commercial with Hal doing yeah. some comeback with Betty White. Wow, yeah. But, well, Betty White's got a new sitcom that uh, is it good? I haven't watched it. I I hate the sitcom. No, that Not Betty White's on fire now. Oh, <laughs> she's the the wacky fucking sex sexual old broad, <laughs> right? But hey, if you guys wanted to see some bushy eyebrows, all you needed to watch was last weekend's British Open. All the elderly Englishmen. Yeah, they don't trim their they shit. They don't cut their nope. fucking... Uh, this guy is absolutely right. Maybe eyebrows. that's why it's in the back of my head again. <laughs> Bushy, I was watching the British oh, Open. Shit. This guy's right. <laughs> the older gentleman at the British Open. <laughs> well, that's just... That's a that's bigger a problem. Cave, man. The, the caterpillar eyebrows, that's a whole different thing. I'm talking about the ones that just... Just are... Uh, yeah, he's got them. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marty's Scors got them. Scorsese. Call him Marty. Marty Scorsese Marty. has giant eyebrows. The fucking Harry Potter has pretty bushy eyebrows. Well, the English in general have some some bushy eyebrows, right? Yeah, I'm I'm talking about the that? flyaways. That come the from ones the that... scurvy. <laughs> Did that come? Don't go hand in hand with the scurvy. <laughs> oh God, they really do like their wacky bushy eyebrows in England. <laughs> uh -huh. Rebecca De Mornay, Scott of New Orleans, is coming up with. Ah, people Rebecca that used to be huge. Demorne. She was an A-lister. A-lister. Now, what's now your she, what's your favorite Rebecca De Mornay scene of all time? Now, you you the, you were gonna go with the obvious <clears throat> one. I was gonna go with the obvious. So just go with the obvious, because I'll then I'll tell you mine. All right, um, Tom Cruise mm -hmm. on the train mm -hmm. in risky business. Mm -hmm. Pretty hot. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Erock e wants to guess mine. Let's see if Erock knows me. Go ahead, Erock. What's it, my favorite Rebecca De Mornay scene of all time? Would it be the uh, the breastfeeding scene in Hand That Rocks the Cradle? <laughs> That's absolutely <laughs> correct, <laughs> <in> Rebel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> e -rock. E -rock rules. <laughs> wow, the, the sickest twisted twisted scene. I've, uh, uh, you know, not, whatever, breastfeeding but. that other chick's fucking baby. The hand that rocks the cradle was such a bizarre movie. I was but, kind of, but <laughs> oh, Rebecca God. De Mornay was playing like the nanny, or whatever, and uh, 
And uh, who, who was the other broad in that? She was pretty hot, too, for the time. I forgot her name. You're looking it up, Iraq. That's not helping me. Oh, Iraq. But is she, that, first of all, I got to know, is that Madonna's daughter? Yeah. It was a while ago. I think since she's learned to trim and shave. Dude. Well, she's got, That's a problem, though. She's well, got a fucking mustache. Well, Madonna's a hairy mess. I know. She's she's got a whole team of people ripping out hair twenty four hours a day. But she this I'm she's looking at this, in everywhere on that this woman. daughter picture. She's got a fucking little mustache, and her brow is almost unibrow. astounding. I can't fucking describe it. It's almost a unibrow. Well, her hus her uh, her husband her father is what Colombian or something. Colombia. Some kind of Latino. Some kind of yeah. Some kind of. Uh, Lourdes. Mm. See if she cleaned up. Did she clean up? Did Lourdes clean up? Because she's a fucking hairy disaster. She's starting to look good. I bet she got a no, bush she's, at fucking eight. She, she's going to be ridiculous. Is yeah. she? Yeah, yeah she's going to so. be let me way see. hotter than let me Madonna see recent ever was. Picture. She's, I want recent picture. She's starting to come together. Well, I no, mean, not a good one. no, she's doing the fucking... What the um designing design and the this, uh, this, what the big glasses? This, uh, she's wearing big glasses. Nah, that's you can tell she's gonna look good. She's gonna be ridiculous I got you, but, looking. But she is really gonna have to maintain that fucking hair shit. Yeah. Annabella Skewer was the other uh, woman in Hand the Rocks oh, Cradle. So she had she had a fucking baby, and uh, she can't figure why the baby doesn't want to latch onto her boobs yeah. anymore. Yeah, and then yeah. Uh, she discovers that uh, Rebecca Dumonte has been offering up her. Bosom, her bosom, her bosom. <laughs> what a sick fucking movie, man! She, she fucking made the baby bond with uh with her instead of the the mom. And the the mom, the baby's just pushing away, and the mother can't figure out. And she's crying. That was I fucked don't up. Know why? That was such a fucked up movie. Uh, I just got a text from Philly, my brother-in-law, <laughs> talking about uh, celebrities that are dicks, and this comes up every time, and I I I like saying it every fucking time. Who's a jerk? Well, and and let it be known that my brother-in-law is a huge Phillies fan. Mm -hmm. He's got uh, not season tickets, but he's got a nice package, so he fucking goes to a bunch of games every year. He hates Jason Worth because we all went to the UFC event in Philly. We had really nice seats thanks to Dana White, and we were meeting everybody. I mean everybody. Even Kevin James came over and took a picture. Ooh. Not a big Kevin James fan, but he was really nice to us, and all the UFC fighters, everybody. Love that new Dana movie White himself it. came over. He's running the fucking event, and he made sure he had time to make sure we're okay and made sure the people I w was with got pictures, right? Jason Worth walks by, and uh, my brother-in-law... Asked him for a picture, and he actually said, "I don't take fucking pictures." I not, don't take fucking he, pictures. He, he didn't. An exact quote. You can see it for yourself. Not, I don't take pictures, or not now. He actually said, "I don't take fucking pictures." He wasn't just being an asshole. And you know what? We for the sake of it. We well, that's we weren't sure, so yeah, we actually like we actually asked him three different times with three different people, and he had no oh, good one. he had no idea that we we're all together. Yeah. And he said he said no every fucking time. He was the only person that wouldn't take pictures, with, not only with us but everyone else in the area. Jesus. Yeah, because we had we had like prime seats where everyone was walking by. So he is a jerk. He's he's a big time jerk. <laughs> there was an incident in Philly recently with him. He yeah. pushed a fan out of the way or something during a baseball game. Maybe someone can re refresh my memory on the latest Jason Worth uh, jerky problem? thing he did. What's his problem? <laughs> <laughs> Emilio Estevez? Uh, uh, I, he can still fucking walk around, right? Drew in P uh, Pennsylvania has one. Jan Michael Hall. Jan Michael Hall? Wait a minute. He was pretty fucking big. Wait. He, it, isn't it? Jan Michael Vincent, or John Michael Hall. <laughs> Jan Michael Anthony, Hall. Anthony Wait, Michael Hall. Hall. What is this guy doing? Or, yeah, who, is, who I the think fuck he's, are you talking about? <laughs> but it makes sense. He's he's getting two names. Drew, yeah. what do you got? I got my favorite Rebecca De Mornay story for you. That. Well, well, first talk about who the fuck you were talking about. Who, who used to be famous? Yeah, I think I fucked that up. So I'm gonna skip right over that. No, no, you're not. <laughs> you can't. You can't just skip over it. God, I wish we had that in our playbook. Yeah. Well, where we, you know, me and Ed could just go. You know what? I just fucked up the last ten minutes of radio. I, I'm gonna just skip over that. I'm just gonna skip over that. No, <laughs> no, no, you're not. Who did you mean? Yeah, the dude, yeah, the dude uh, from Airwolf. How's that? That's Jan Michael Vincent. Oh, okay. There, yeah, there yeah. He he kind of uh, had a, a fall from grace as far as his career went. He was huge, and then he got yeah. on the drugs. 
He couldn't get off the drugs and the boozing. Yeah. And uh, that was that. Okay. You don't just fucking gl glaze over over something like that. <laughs> Gloss over it. Well, my favorite Rebecca De Mornay is when she was uh, working at the bookstore, and George uh, Costanza tried to return the book that had been red flagged. Oh, he took it in the bathroom. That was Rebecca De Mornay. No, she was uh, a large <laughs> black woman, and he asked her for her name, and it was Rebecca De Mornay. Oh, okay. But you said my favorite. Isn't, isn't Danny the big fine salt guy there? Well, Travis, no, Travis is. Travis is. Travis. Uh, I am too, but n not as good as Travis, believe me. But um, yeah, I'm not quite recalling it. Sorry, ah. sorry. All right, I'm out. <clears throat> All right, brother. Seinfeld <laughs> ruined the sitcom for everybody else. Yeah, it really did. just a little statement there. Just, yeah. I, I, I'm not a fan of the. Yeah. How about Bridget Fonda? Holy shit, she was huge for like oh, she was, a few yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, what does she look like now? Uh, She's pretty be, hot too. I can't no? be very good. She was in uh, Single White uh, Female, wasn't she? Was that the one? Yeah, yeah. Was that the one? I love my I hair like this. I love my. Yeah. She got her hair cut like the other chick. Who was the other? Oh, the other one was from Fast Times. Mm -hmm. The the girl from Fast Times. Yeah, the kooky one from Fast Times. Yeah, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> the whore. Is that her now? I don't know if it's now. That God. Damn. Uh, she can't look that good still. Dude. There's no way. Dude. Dude! Yeah, that, that's not that's not too shabby. Okay, we got the Jason Wirtz mm -hmm. story, the, the latest uh, jerk move by this guy. Jerk. Uh, go ahead, Tony, and where, where are you from? Sickleville, Sickleville, New Jersey, about 40 minutes out of Atlantic City. All right, cool. What do you got? Atlantic City. What do you got, Tony? What, is the, what happened was Wirtz was going for a foul ball. And the fan reached, well, actually didn't reach out. He, you know, it was in foul ball territory, and Worth went to get the ball, and the fan took the ball away, and he said, and you could read his lips on TV and said, what the fuck are you doing? And that was the whole incident. And he's getting traded anyway, man. He's probably going to get traded uh, sometime this week. The fucking guy's batting like 220. Oh, he's having a shitty year? Oh, he's yeah. yeah he's I didn't even know that. Well. Huh? He's making 16 mil. He's making 16 mil a year. He's oh. traded. They're going to wind up trading him Tampa Bay, so fuck him. No. He's a bum anyway, dude. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to let you know that that's what the whole thing was. And the fan came. He was on. He was on TV and everything. He had to apologize and everything. So that mm -hmm. was, that's about. That's all I got. Well, you know, he shouldn't have to apologize. You know, it is what it is. He, he looked like a complete jerk in front of everyone, but I don't think he has to apologize for that, right? No. As long no, as he didn't touch fact, the kid. It was, you know, it's one of them things with the the fan. The, it was just like a five minute TV moment. You know, the, the father was like, "Oh, it was really up." So shut the fuck up. Right. You and your little ten-year-old kid, you know what I mean. But he had to right away to the ball. I mean, you know, the, the ball was—it wasn't like he had to reach out for it. I mean, it was—it was in the stands. But like you said, the guys—you can just tell just by when he gets up to the bat, he's just a jerk off, you know, with a big fucking grizzly Adams beard and shit. I, I don't know, he's just—it's a joke. But like I said, there, it's already talk about him going. Uh, he's getting traded because of his contract. Wait, he's getting traded. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, oh, I didn't he hear that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's on, he's on the blocks because Phillies need they need pitching and all that, and and they get rid of that money. They'll bring this new, this kid up from uh, <laughs> to play. Yeah, but it's just it, it's sickening, especially as a fan. You watch this guy. He's just, I mean, it's just the strikeouts, everything, man. He's just the guy's a fucking total mess. So yeah, and like I said, he's batting like two thirty, two thirty six, or something like that. Definitely not worth Phoebe Cates. Oh. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Tony's just babbling no, along, he's some, thinking about uh, Phoebe Cates. I love Phoebe Cates. Who uh, didn't? And now that's a girl that uh, was huge mm -hmm. uh, back in the 80s. Red bikini. The famous scene in Red Fast Times. Bikini. And now she is um, kind of fat. Well, I saw right. her at a Knicks game, but but um, that's probably about 10 years ago now, and she was still looking good then. Yeah. So uh, she f <laughs> dropped, dropped dead, dead Fred. Fred. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, that's a good uh, one. What does uh, she look like now? Gremlins. Yeah, let's see what she looks like now. Put Phoebe Cates, two thousand nine. Oh no! We'll give her a year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. is that oh. really her? Oh well, uh, uh, you know what? She, oh, she kind of looks like oh. a chubby Kate Hudson with dark hair, right? She doesn't wear fat well. 
<laughs> she she just she, doesn't and she's probably not even that fat but no compared no, but to how we remember to, her yeah See, she doesn't look that no no she but she's not what she's i not, don't know what to i don't know how to describe this not, either she's got like this this rumor willis gullet yeah. thing happening yeah what's going on with the bottom of her fucking like jaw but she's still she's still all right though yeah, yeah, Compared yeah. to what? Well, oh, Jesus Christ! Christ. All right, you know what? You know that what? time is a time motherfucking stinks bitch. on ice. Thanks for punching that picture up, Danny. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> holy fuck, Aroni! I don't even know wow. if that's from. <laughs> what, what movie is that from? <laughs> I don't know, but I have to watch it's it immediately my, and jerk off. That's what? from my beat off <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> that's not from Fast Times. No, no. That, that looks. That might be a couple years before Fast Times. Holy moly! Wow. All right, that time. Just she sucks. really was just the fu the fucking it girl. Mm -hmm. Back then, she was one of those girls. Oh that just, my God! Look at that! Like, look. Well, at, you can't. It's radio. The other ones from Fast Times. That's where she's sitting on the diving board. The other one's called Paradise. 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 She's just Damn naked. On Paradise. 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 She's just <laughs> naked on the beach in the ocean for most of the movie. Ah, oh, what, what am I doing? Why aren't I on Mr. Is, Skin? Oh, Mr. Skin, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we get all agitated. <laughs> ah, it's, it's fucking, you saw Paradise. I'm log in. Iraq. I'm looking at Mr. Skin right now. Oh, and you see her naked? Can't oh, share. Yeah. Not from in there, huh? She's showering next to a cliff. Oh, cliff? What? She is? Well, why is, is she in paradise naked? Holy mackerel. Oh, dude. You got uh, bush shots? It says bush a, shots? No, really? But it Let says me a, a body double also. Oh, fuck. Well, we could. I hate we those could, body doubles. We could pretend. I don't like the body double because it, it's that element of doubt. It's like the, it's like the fucking... The firing squad, where they give the one guy the empty magazine. <laughs> you know, I don't like that Holy element crap. of doubt. That, oh, dude, oh punch God. her up. Punch her up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, wow, wow. That's fantastic, wow. and that's not a body <laughs> double. That isn't a body double. That's her. I could so just jack off to that. Oh, like, yeah. right now. I think I will. Hold Th on. Those pictures are a lot easier to jack off to. Yeah. That's like you'd fucking... Oh, you, you'd die she's bending over. He's picking up a shell, I think. Oh, that's her? Is that her? Is that body double? I don't know. It's, mm, I can't it's tell. tell. See, I can't tell. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. Jesus. Is that 1982? Holy mackerel. She, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. oh, fuck. This is just Look, fantastic. But that overgrown muff's a little rough. When, but when, it was when, 82. When, Go with the time. When when the girl bends over just, just slightly and you see darkness coming <laughs> from behind. Look at that muff. <laughs> That's wonderful. As she's swimming underwater. It looks like a sea urchin in her lap. <laughs> it's a sea anemone. <laughs> but she trimmed it down a little bit on the sides for the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, she did. I had no idea that she did all this. How did I not uh, see this movie? How did I not see this? Is it available on instant? Check it out. On Netflix? Out because if it's not, I say Netflix sucks a dick. What's a, the people at Netflix are jerks. What is it? A Blue Lagoon type movie? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Par That's Paradise 1991. Paradigm, Paradigm, Para... Para nothing. Oh, you spelled it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking A. Uh, uh, there it is. Is that wait, it? Wait, 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 Go wait. on. Right, right there, there. No? Is that Second her? one down? No, it's 2008. Shit. Oh, fuck. What about that? There's a lot of movies named Paradise. Can we talk about... What was that movie we were obsessed with for a while? It's not even on there. Swimming Pool? Oh, Swimming Pool. Oh, good God. Fuck. <laughs> Look at us. We can't keep a fucking thought in our head. She's been in some nudity. other good movies, too. What? Yeah. That same girl from Swimming Pool? Yeah. There's really? There's a couple other good movies. She naked? Oh, yeah. She's always Wait, naked. turn me on to an, another movie she did. Hang yeah. On, let me get the title. And tell us the Mr. Skin fucking... Could you go to Mr. Skin Swimming Pool, please? <laughs> yes. Immediately. And get her name. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Just looking at beautiful naked starlets. We were obsessed with this movie for a while. Oh, yeah. This was all we talked about. And then the old broad had to get naked in the movie. And ruin it. Oh. Charlotte Rampling or Ludovine? Ludovine. 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 She even has Ludivine. a odd name, Ludivine. Ludivine. Give me a nice picture of Ludivine Dude, her, from swimming pool. Her ample bosom. Oh her God. ample bosom. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> and she's Isn't talking she to the fantastic? old broad. Yeah, that topless broad ain't bad either. <laughs> <laughs> Not the old bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the other movie she's good in is called Water Drops on Burning Rocks. She's just naked in a bedroom. Really? How do you know this? Or did you just look it up? She's got fucking. But have you Mr. seen the movie? Skin. Just on Mr. Skin. All right, water drops. All right, let's see uh, some pictures from there. Mm -hmm. All right, Danny's uh, mm -hmm. trolling.
10 pics, 8 video clips. Whoa. Wowza. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my fuck. God. Oh, my fucking Jesus. <laughs> fucking teardrops. All right, look. <laughs> I need that picture printed out. <laughs> And she's going with the old school. I'll go to the bathroom. She's going old school uh, uh, Bush in this one. She's huh? got, you know, something. I give me another one. How many people have marked yeah, my words one. from a few years ago? Yeah. Uh, oh. Two years ago. Oh, that ruins it. For we me. found a flaw. What? Oh, her ass is a little. That long. could be. It's one picture. It's, it's one. It's one bad picture. It's, it's not, the lighting. Shut it's up. It's not fat. It's not wide. It's just long. It's the lighting. No, because you see, you didn't see oh, the, the line fuck. of her, the bottom of her. Uh, go back to that picture. Boo. I will no, sell you this Danny. shot. How look, are you going to sell it? Look, look at where the actual curve where ass meets thigh. I see. It looks like it's straight down because there's no shadow in there because the lighting's fucked. It's a little long. No, that's worse than a long ass. No, it is long. I don't. Know, maybe because in this, I guess she's like reaching. I could kind of see how maybe she's flexing her ass cheeks yes. or something. It's but a, just a bad not, It's not shot. looking good. I think we found a flaw. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, by the way, I I hope people mark my words. I said the the Bush is making a comeback, not the full fledged Bush. Jesus, but holy oh, no, dude! How mother hot is of that guy? God, <laughs> not the Sorry. guy. <laughs> Talking about the girl. She's the same beautiful. bit over and over. Again. <laughs> I know. That just goes on. <laughs> yes. yes, I think God really. spent uh, a little a little extra time on the boobs and not as much time on the long ass. No, I I swear to you, her ass is good. Yeah. Her ass is good. Good and is it? Ludivine. Ludivine. I don't want to see it now. Why? Well, all right, we're going for right, more all right, ass all right, all right. What about that first one? Is good that her? Call. I don't I don't know. All right, we'll see. Let's Pop see. it up. Pop it up. Uh, yeah. It's right. it's, I, I, it's better. Look, look. look. That's, that shit's got to be lifted that, up a little. Are you she kidding needs an me? Ass lift. Are you shitting me? I said just a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, a wonderful, for you, buddy. wonderful. Oh, the, yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ! Jesus. I see that every day. It's <laughs> <laughs> the, the little child breastfeeding. It's called latching. Wonderful latching. Yeah, the kid's latching on. What is that? That's her. That's the Heine shot. Oh, oh, okay. Look at this one. Oh, oh, you that's, see, that's much now, better. Come All right. on! All right, we're back in. Don't you dare Maybe that's a body double, though. About Maybe they know she's got a long ass, and that's a body <laughs> double. Because that ass looked way better. Why so long in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, she she looks great. <laughs> Ludivine. <laughs> All right, should we break? Oh. Well, I was just going to go till you know. Oh, we can There's a radio going. show going on? I know. <laughs> We're just looking at nudes. Check out Swimming Pool if you want like a movie that's... I don't even know if the movie's good. I couldn't care if the movie was good or not. I have no it idea matter. if the movie was good. I remember I, 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 I saw it all the way to the credits. Yeah. She, she just... You had to wait for the next nude scene with her in it. Yeah. There was a lot of really good when ones. When she's having sex on the, like, in the, on the side of the pool... Well, she's just young and having sex, and the old broad is trying to like, like just live get some live vicariously through her. Well, she's a, I think she's a writer, so she goes to this house, I think, I think, to get away to like write write her next project or yeah. book. And this young thing is like just young and fucking banging and in the other fucking. room, <laughs> right? And she's annoyed because she's wide awake because the. The noise is coming through the wall. Yeah. But that now turns her on, and I don't know. She hears the fucking right. of the young slut. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Mr. Skin gives it a, a great nudity with an exclamation point. Oh, yeah. It's one of the great nude scenes of all time. <laughs>